Let's go. Let's roll. Born to roll. Born to ride. Keep on flying till my hands touch the sky. Born to be wild and free. Keep on going, yeah, there's no stopping me. I was born for this. I was born for this. G'day guys, welcome to Gravy Boat Cooking and Camping. Today we're going to change the anode in the hot water system. So this one's been in for a year, a couple of years. We're going to pull it out, have a look at it, um, and probably put a new one in because we're about to go on a bit of a trip. So yeah, probably something you should be checking every year on your caravan, uh, especially if you don't want to replace your hot water system so it's an easy out. So don't know what this one's going to look like, but we'll have a good look. So your anode sits down here. You need a socket to get at it. First thing we need to do though is um, pop the, the pressure and release all the hot water out of the hot water system. So, there we are. As much as we're going to get out of there, look at that. And a bit of water leaked out there at that point in time too, so we might just have to check that as well while we're going. Okay, so it's a pretty specific size. You need a 27 mil socket. So you need your hose to um, put back in there and get all that water out. That's the anode that we're going to replace it with. So just put that over there on the top. We just crack this, and you know, we haven't got any water connected to it, um, and we also haven't got any um, power on either, so make sure your power is off. Oh no, and you just got to watch it because it will, once you crack it, it will go everywhere. Right, uh, so, see the old one? Well and truly buggered, but still some left on it, so that's all right. It wouldn't have corroded inside the water system. You let all that drain out, and then you're going to get your hose in there and flush the rest of it out. So while that's draining, we'll also get some tape and thread tape, put on the new one. Stop draining now. Just gonna put our hose back in, and um, you can see that giving a bit of a splash. Put a bit of that calcification and stuff out of there. Probably keep doing that until. until it runs clear. Pretty clear there now. Let that drain out now and put the new one in and hit the pump, fill it up and yeah, so there we go. The rod's made of ma magnesium, and the idea is that it corrodes this rod away before it corrodes the inside of your hot water system away. So, put the new one in.
you can get it there. Alright, oh no, this may be a bit of pressure. Start him off. Oh no. It's be tight enough, so what we'll do is I'll get a cloth now and just dry all that off, clean all that out there. Bit of dust and dirt and stuff. Um, but also then we'll fill it up and check it's not leaking there that way we can see there's no more water getting in so I've cleaned it all up um, it's gonna go flick the pump on you'll hear the pump filling it up and hopefully we get no leaks we'll check it out As it's filling, just got to let the air out of the tank using your bleed valve. Just keep doing that, it's filling up. So you just have to keep bleeding the air out of the valve until it's all the way to the top. You'll hear the pump cut out uh, when it gets too much pressure in there. You can bleed it and it'll put a bit more water in there. You can also use mains pressure to do this, but I just didn't have it plugged in at the time, which is why I'm using the pump. Once you get it all filled up, then that's the time to give it a dry up and check for some leaks. And if you can't see any leaks there, then Bob's your uncle, job done. Bit of water, which is come from that lead valve, which seems to be leaking a little bit when I pull it on. But none around the none around the um anode. So there you go. See you changing anode. Hopefully this has been um educational and helps you guys out this is the sort of stuff come out of there that's the sort of stuff you don't want going through your hot water system so hopefully now it's nice and clean again all right make sure you get out there and do some cooking and do some camping let's go let's roll uh-huh